Watch well, you guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove AV Defender 2011. Now this Rogue uh, works on Windows XP, Vista and Windows 7 and it stops you from installing any programs, running any uh, sort of applications or anything like that. As you can see if I try to run Task Manager it will shut it down. Uh, reg, reg Edit as well, if I went in there like so it will stop that from running. So the only thing is it does allow iExplore.exe which is the Internet Explorer. It allowed that to run for some reason. It does stop a lot of uh, other browsers as in um, Google Chrome, Firefox and uh, browsers like that but this browser it allows to run which is good because it allows us to download software that we need. But we won't be able to run that software because uh, of the process is running as you can see it's running down the bottom here. So we need to kill that process first. So the first thing I want to do is get Rogue Killer. Uh, this is all our kill. Anything of that nature will um, kill the process and allow us to run applications. So I'm going to be doing a search for Rogue Killer. Just continue running uh, unprotected if you get this message pop up when you're trying to use the browser. It will give you a 10 second uh, countdown don't worry about that, it will allow you to download the program. OK, so we're now at this page, it's allowing us to get to here and what we want to do here is click on the mirror link and this will download a new copy of Roadkiller. OK, it's a little bit slower just letting this uh, come down as you can see takes a bit of time but don't worry so I'm gonna save this to my desktop I've already got it on there but I'm gonna replace it just to show you, you can do it okay so now we've got that I can close this off right so here is our program road killer we can also get process explorer so what we'll do is we'll get process explorer as well so I'm going to go up to uh, top here and type live sysinternals.com and we're going to get process explorer as well just to show you the process is process explorer and save that and uh, we're going to save this as uh, I explore dot exe to our desktop and that will allow us to run this program without uh, road killer now you can remove rename malware bytes as well I've already got malware bytes but I will show you where to get it from So we'll go to malware bytes and we'll download this as well. Okay, so let's continue unprotected. Same thing, just take your time. Eventually it will let you download it. Now this will stop things running inside um, safe mode as well so you won't be able to run any programs in safe mode so we're just going to download these to the desktop here's our I explore which is process explorer it will allow us to run this program now because we've renamed it takes a bit of time. It's running very very slow. Agreed to the license agreement and as you can see it will allow us to run this program. And this is the culprit here where we want to kill okay, the process. Okay, You can either do it that way or as I said you can run Road Killer like so. And once you've run Road Killer it will 
kill the process like so and this is the process there so we're going to close that off leave that there and again because of run road killer it's now killed this process as you can see okay so either way whatever way you want to do it you can do it that way so now we have that done we can now run malware bytes and install malware bytes but if we try to install something before that it would not install so I'm just gonna install malware bytes quickly why that's updating there we need to do a registry tweak here to fix the problem that that virus has caused okay so before I run malware bytes I just want to do a quick registry edit just to change the registry that the uh, uh, AV defender has changed so I'm just going to put that down there for now I'm going to go to run type reg edit inside the registry and what we want to do here is we want to go H key local machine we want to go software we want to go Microsoft we want to go Windows NT so bring the bar down Windows NT and you want to go current version and you want to go win logon which is this one here okay want to come down to shell here can you see shell so when we see shell we double click on this and you can see it's been edited by that uh, virus that we stopped okay so what we want to do is delete that and what we can do there is just go delete okay so what we want to put in there now is we want to put in there explorer dot exe like so okay and once you've done that click OK and you can see it's made a change right so from there we want to run the scan now and what I want to do first is go to a full scan on the C drive let that scan up and that should clean the system it's found one infection there okay so while that scans running I'll show, I'll show you where roughly these uh, things hide if we show hidden files which I've already done but you can show your hidden files you'll need to put this tick in there and take these two ticks out like so okay and then we'll apply OK and this is roughly where the rogue should be hiding go into account application data and you'll see a folder there called AV Defender 2011 there's some crap in there and also you can see these folders here with the number and letters and that is it there that's the one that's caused all the problem okay so we've also got other locations where the where files are, are located probably in attempt files and stuff like that that's the scan finished with now so what we're going to do here is show the actual files and as you can see rogue AV defender shows you the locations and uh, what we need to do here is just remove those like so they're now removed reboot the system ok 
okay so we'll reboot into normal mode now and see how we go and hopefully that will be the end of that virus so hopefully this will boot up okay and there we go now what I would do here now is I'd run CCleaner and I'd also right click properties system restore turn off system restore click OK and then go back and turn it back on and then clean off any any rubbish that you may have just put some ticks in here clean all this off ok leave the bottom one off uh, go options advanced and then take the tick out of this one ok if you want to do some overwrites you can do but I'm not going to bother I'm just going to leave that as it is and pretty much analyze the system and then run the cleaner and that's pretty much it ok so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit the subscribe button show your support also rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them and if you think they've helped you then favourite them and uh, the link down below is for the forums if you've got any problems ok thanks again for watching guys bye for now